YouTube, what's up? It's the Sneaker Aficionado, AKA The Solution, your big mom's favorite YouTuber, but today I'm gonna be the Hat Aficionado. A lot of you've asked me, hey, man, in your videos, you're always rocking some dope snapbacks or a bucket or something, or even a dad hat. So what's your relationship with hat? It looks like you have a lot of hats. I do, and my dad started off uh, my, my huge love of hats when I was about six years old. He, um, my first fitted was a Notre Dame, traditional Notre Dame with the cross N and D because I love the Fighting Irish because of Rock of Ismail. You know, he's, he was my favorite player when I was a kid in college football. But we're gonna get into it. My hats represent a lot of things. And if you look at my videos, I'm throwing a lot of symbolism with my hats. I'm either giving a shout out, I'm representing, or I'm sending a message. Okay, and it's not game related at all. If you know me and you know my hats, I'm doing something with my hats all the time. So typically I wear two teams. 90% of the time, I'm gonna be wearing two teams and that's the Baltimore Orioles and the Baltimore Ravens because I'm originally from Baltimore. I live in San Antonio. I always tell people, I just live here. I'm not from here. I love this city, it's my new home, it's my second home, but I am from Baltimore, Maryland. Not Towson, not Pikesville, Baltimore, Maryland. All right, you don't even get to the wire thing. So let's talk about the, the hats that I had the majority of. Growing up, my dad made me a fan of the Orioles, Tippy Martinez, Cal Ripken Jr. when he was a rookie, 83 to won the World Series. They've been on the rise a little bit, a little shaky right now, but I love the Orioles. And the reason for that, let me move this right here, is they have a very, very clean optional hat with that O. And I'm gonna pull up my favorite Orioles hat. This is a, a leather strap with the um, the alligator skin on it. Dope, dope hat. It looks good. Either rocked on head forward or showing off the strap in the back. This is a, a very, very dope hat. And I'm just going to grab this stack right here to show you some of the, the colorways I have. So you got that one right there I talked about. You've seen me in this video. This is a very, very dope colorway. Very clean looking. And um, my hats match my sneakers, all right? I, you, I normally have a pair of sneakers that coordinates with this hat. So you got this one, nice springtime, Easter type get up, if you're into that. Then you got the clean black O's right here. You got this lime green joint. And I got polo shirts, t-shirts, you name it, to match these. Then you got the uh, contrast black and purple, shout out to the Ravens, I get into that as well. They do that a lot, they'll mix up the colorways. But I love, this O's logo, it looks dope, it's, it's hard. You got this one with the black and gray contrast. This one right here. Got a lot of kicks to match these. All purple and white, dope, dope kicks. Somebody actually stole this out of my hotel room. Housekeeping lady stole it from me. If you know anything about Fiesta in San Antonio, you know why that purple and white is important. I got this iridescent one right here that um, the O's, it, it reflects, that's dope. Got this OD green right here. This is popping in the snapback. Some of these are snapbacks as well. Sorry for not showing you that. Um, another black and purple switch right here. And I like this one because it's got the Baltimore on the back. Some of my hats do have that. And uh, this one right here is just a very clean royal blue and white. And a snapback. Dope, dope hat. Dope hat. We're gonna keep it moving. This is an optional Orioles logo. I like the bird swing in the back. This actually glows. I gotta clean it up, but it glows. It, it, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know that. I didn't pay attention to the sticker. I had the hat on, so I'm like, man, your hat's glowing. That's cool. So we keep it moving. Um, I looked a lot of places for this leather, black and white Orioles hat because I had the leather sweatsuit that was popping, Kim Cole joint. Had that dope, dope hat. The denim and orange, crazy. Navy blue, I don't know if it's showing up properly on here, but it's navy blue and white, a deep, deep navy. Got your brown joints, this is a very old hat. I like this one because it's got Orioles and cursive on the back. So if you rock it to the back, you can show off where you're from, representing your team. One of my favorite hats, this black and gray snapback right there. Cool, I wore the heck out of that one last summer. 
Then of course, you see me in this one all the time, it's black and white with the Orioles on the snapback. Just dope, man. Dope, that O, it's something about that O. You see people not even from Baltimore rocking this hat. And um, Baltimore, because it's not a hugely popular team across the country, you're gonna see the orange and black and white one, the orange and black hat. This is not one of them. This is actually like a fluorescent orange. Well, I like this because it's got the Maryland flag on the side. Maryland flag is very, very busy, very unique. You know where people from, you see that. This one right here, I love infrared. Once again, snapback with the Orioles on the back. Well, excuse me, Baltimore on the back. Dope. One of my favorite joints right here because it's got the stars on it. It's crazy. Got a lot of outfits that I actually bought a Puma sweatsuit to match that. Then you got the camouflage one. You see me in this one a lot in my videos. One of my favorite hats. Dope hat. And uh, I forgot to mention the cartoon Oriole bird is always fly, man. It's always fly. Shout out to the 83 Orioles when they won the World Series. They were rocking those hats, if I'm not mistaken. That's why I like that one. Then I'm gonna move it on to my other favorite team. Not my second favorite team, just my other favorite team in Baltimore. My Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens. We're gonna get it right. Um, hey, if you're from that team up in Pennsylvania, we have a more recent Super Bowl than you. All right, so hush it. Love it. Black and purple, Mitchell and Ness joint. Always keep the the uh, authenticity hologram stick on it for some reason. I, I don't leave the tags on like the young boys do. I always take that off. You got the Mitchell and Ness on the back. All authentic hats, people. No fake hats. We don't do that. Like this black and purple contrast. Another Mitchell and Ness joint. So you know it's well made. You know Mitchell and Ness was big on the throwbacks. Got another um, alternate field hat, as they call this one, with the NFL shield on the back, if you wanna rock that to the back like that. Then you got this one with the uh, the leather brim and the snapback. Shout out to my man, DJ King Arthur. He, uh, we had the same hat on at the same event. That was pretty cool. Then um, one of my favorite Ravens hats right here with the 3M on it, iridescence. The light hits it, it just pops. Then you got the Raven on the back. Boom, that's crazy right there. Now for my third team, because like I said, I live in San Antonio now, the Spurs, all right? I was not always a Spurs fan. I've lived in San Antonio now three times. Um, and I always had free tickets due to the job I was doing. And I, 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 the team was good. It was just the fans and the media ruined it for me. But this year, well actually last year, I became a bit of more of a diehard Spurs fan. I, I, I love the team. Um, the fans are acting better. I just don't watch the news after they lose. They get on my nerves. But this is a military appreciation um, dad hat, if you will. They gave out this year. Um, they had the, the salute to the service members. I was there. You know, as you know, I was in the army, retired after 20 years. Um, so this is a very, very dope hat, near and dear to me. Um, shout out to my homegirl that got this for me. I appreciate that. You know, got me there that night to the game. Um, Cause I wasn't gonna go. And I like this one right here. I actually got this hat for three dollars. I'm not sure why. Probably because it's, it's uh, neon green and white, and I like it. But I have some Air Force Ones to match this. Snapback, like it. I'm gonna talk about the importance of me rocking snapbacks right now. And a few, another brand new Spurs hat I haven't worn. I actually have the uh, Westbrook Air Jordan Ones to match these. Haven't worn it yet, $15, you know I'm all about those steals and deals. I got the Liz discount as well. So another hat that you probably seen me in recently is this uh, cool gray Spurs hat. All right, dope, dope hat. Takes you back to the 89s and that, that Raider script with the snapback, Mitchell and S. Left the tags on there. Then um, I have some teams that I'm really not a fan of, but they just match outfits that I have. Boston Celtics, I have some tan and green Patrick Ewing, Ewing brand sneakers that matches, it looks really good. I'm not a fan of the Celtics, but it just matched. The Florida Marlins, I got a polo big horse shirt and some blue and green Pumas that match this along with another shirt, a couple shirts that match it. Then um, the Vancouver Grizzlies, which I know about the Vancouver Grizzlies. I got some shell toes that match this and um, some Air Griffey Max that matches as well. So dope, dope hat, Vancouver Grizzlies, holla at me. You know, I'm an OG, sneaker OG. 
All right. I'm not a fan of the Yankees. However, I got family up in NY, and uh, this hat is really, really near and dear to me. I actually fixed this hat. The, the beanie cap popped off. Um, shout out to Mob Deep, rest in peace, Prodigy. I had this hat on when they performed here in San Antonio um, back in 2013, and they, they peaked the dude in a lavender New York Yankees fit. And he hollered at me, I'm not a guy that takes pictures with famous people like that. You know, I, I'll take the picture. A lot of times I don't even post them. You look on my Instagram, you don't really see that. I think I'll pitch a little goo ball in me. And he asked me to do that. All right? Because uh, we were cracking on each other. But right here, shout out to Prodigy, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Prodigy. But they recognized my hat. and got to kick it with them backstage for a minute. That was dope. Got the Raiders snap back right here because... There was rumors that the Raiders were coming to San Antonio, but they knew they were moving. They didn't know exactly where they were going. So New Era printed a simple back 89 NWA straight out of Compton script Raiders hat with nothing on it because they weren't sure if they were going to be approved to move. So that's fresh right there. So now I'm on that back row. Sometimes nondescript right here with the uh, military strap hat. If I'm dressed up, I got the Gatsby, the floppy Gatsby right here. You know, the, the Applejack hat, excuse me, pardon me. This is the Gatsby right here, another dope hat. Solid black Gatsby gotta have right there. I'm older, man, I got flavor. You know, I talked about my visors, talked about the Orioles hat right here. Then when I'm just rocking flavor, you've seen some of these hats in some of my video. Route 21, if you're questioning, hey, where do you get that fresh hat from? Route 21 has got some cool little stuff if you peruse through there for the low. I love the fresh hats, black and white fresh hat. OD green and black and white. My very, very first sneaker video, I had this on when I found Dope Kicks at Marshalls. The dopest hat, this was cool. Right here, I got, um, I can't remember the name of the Nikes I had, but Pippin wore them for a while. The match with that hat, shout out to Shoe City, $3. Then um, I had some black and gold, Air Jordan 1s, well two pairs of black and gold and I copped these because of that. Then you know if you out doing growing up things you get your turn up hat on and the snapback had that, you know, good good stuff, good stuff right there. We're going to keep it moving. Then I have my promotional hats when I'm just repping, I'm just repping. So I'm going to give a quick shout out, and not a quick shout, I'm going to show my alma mater some love. My high school back home, you've seen me in this hat. This was symbolism going on when I rocked this hat. All right, I was shouting out my high school, the Merville Mustangs. Boom, that's not the actual name. The high school is Mercantile Vocational Technical Senior High School. That's a mouthful. I'm repping Baltimore, so you got it right there. Be more, boom, not less. Tell me, man, it's just flavor on top of flavor. The purple and gold joint right there. Same deal, be more, not less. Shout out to Shoe City, Edgewood, Maryland. Always keep me laced. Represent Maryland right here with this snapback. This snapback is very, very old. This is like 15 years old. Well, excuse me, 50. Then, a gift that I got a long time ago. I like rocking this here in San Antonio, this be more hat. And I wear it with my, my gold and black joints. You know, just to stun on people because 410 in San Antonio means the beltway. 410 is the area code, one of the area codes for Baltimore. So I always say 410 to the 210 and back again when I go home. When I come back in, I say 210 to the 410, back to the 210 again. So that's my little line. Then I got promotional hats. You've definitely seen some of these. And um, I wear some of them when I'm, I'm shouting out my people. Of course, you got my logo, the Solution logo in the leather hat right there with the snapback peep the freshness and i've always had my own dj company and before then i wasn't the solution i was t aka the solution and i shortened it so i got that hat right there made stitched up and on the back for my dj company nat butter entertainment you know what it is you might have gotten a business card from me with that on there had those cards forever Techniques when I'm DJing, Techniques 1200, you know about DJing. I don't use vinyl anymore, but got to represent. That's what I learned on. Street Kings Entertainment, shout out to my bro, Fat Cat the Boss. You know, doing his thing back home, repping. You've probably seen that logo in the video a couple times. 
that's what I'm doing. You know, showing love. The reverse of that, Nat Butter Entertainment. And when I shorten my name, the solution on the back with the area codes 410443. I've been doing this for a minute, y'all. For a minute. All right, all promotional wear right here. The Street Kings joint again in the snapback. Another Street Kings joint. You know, this flavor on top of flavor. Then I got a shout out and show love to my daughter because this is her thing. All right, right here. I'm her superhero. She's always got me something with um, Superman on it over the years. All right, so I got the super, the Superman leather strappy like my Oreos joint. That's dope flavor on top of flavor right there. Can't really wear this out here too much. It's too warm. Then um, I got this as a birthday gift about a year ago. This uh, Superman, when the this Batman vs. Superman movie came out, this was a birthday gift for me. Dope hat is heavy though with that plate on it. Worn that maybe one or two times, twice. I've worn it twice. Batman, one of my favorite characters. Another Superman hat my daughter got me. Y'all seen me in these along with the tank top. So that's what that's all about. My hats have a lot of symbolism in them. All right, so we'll keep it moving. Shout out to South Town Vinyl. My man Mario down there, cool dude. Kicked it with him when I went to a music fest. You know, dope guy in there talking music with me. Of course, you gotta have your polo dad hats. You got those, another military style joint right there. Another uh, polo joint with the leather strappy on there. And another polo with the big horse. And these hats get jacked all the time. I, I gotta wash those hats. I take them off. You see me rock the buckets. Military camouflage bucket right here. You see me in this one. One of my favorite buckets. My Ravens bucket. The training cat bucket right here. Shout out to my big sister. She got this for me. We're diehard Ravens fans. I rock this joint all the time. I love this bucket hat. You see me in this polo joint. The salmon polo joint. All right. You see me in this one right here. My uh, The Solution joint right here with the Street Kings logo on the back. Solid blue bucket, goes with a lot of stuff. All white bucket. You know, and that, that's just how I do it, man. Of course you got this one right here. This is a birthday gift. I appreciate it. Um, you know, just people showing love to me, getting me gifts and stuff. They know what I like. And this is my hat collection, man. We did something different. Um, this is actually not all of them. Because like I said, I got beanies and other little joints that I wear. But I'm moving towards, uh, you know, the, the visors. Because the hat smashed my hair down. My hair is pretty long now. And I rock the hair off the visors like y'all saw me at SneakerCon. That's my thing. I'm going to be rocking more visors. But remember, <laughs> it's not about how much you paid for the hat. It's why you paid that much. Because you saw some of the stickers on there. And um, just a hey, like, comment, whatever on the on the hat post. It like, man, he, those are talking about some kicks. Those are some kicks. As you see, I didn't count these hats. I don't know how many hats I had. Like, I counted my sneakers a while ago, and the number changed again. But I don't know how many hats I have, and it's, it's just what I do. And I'm out of here. Boom.